Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing the dirty, dirty job of cleaning the sides and back behind and underneath my stove. Um, I also deep cleaned the whole oven and stove in this video, but um, yeah, so this turned out to be a nightmare, and um, what I didn't realize was the extent of the mold that was going on back here. Um, I didn't realize how bad it was at first, and so unfortunately, I started um, sweeping and vacuuming and really disturbing all of that mold, which is no bueno. Uh, I realized that we have a lot of water damage going on in our kitchen and long story short um, we're gonna be getting a new kitchen sooner than later sooner than we had planned so our original plan was that we were going to um, save up two years of tax returns and then do our kitchen next year but now we're going to do it ASAP. So actually, you guys could be excited and stay tuned because I'll be, you know, trying to get as much footage as possible for our kitchen remodel to make videos of that happening. Um, we're going to try to do it on a budget, obviously, but it needs to be done right. Um, our kitchen, the way it was done by the previous owners, it was not done right, it was not permitted even, and so that is why we have it, the issues we have, which is um, rain coming in through our walls and just soaking our cabinets and walls and causing mold. So um, after I had really got, like once I got up close and personal with the moldy spots, um, I realized that I think it's actually like black mold, like the hazardous black mold. Um, and so at that point, I did go and get like a, a respirator mask. Is that what it's called? A respirator mask? I don't know. Whatever. I got like the mask that you can wear where you're like not breathing in whatever you're dealing with. Um, and so I did go and get that eventually, but yeah. It was after I had already started feeling really dizzy and lightheaded. But all that to say, um, I am kind of like, part of me is like, okay, if, if this mold has been the reason that we have been getting sick so much, then that's kind of a relief. It's like, okay, no wonder we've been getting sick so much. Like we have been breathing in this mold for who knows how long. And maybe once it's gone, um, we won't, well, like our immune systems will go back to normal or whatever. Um, but like you see on the side of the stove right there, like that brown stuff at the bottom, that is part of our cabinet that has peeled off and stuck to the stove. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's lovely. But yeah, so anyway, I am just <laughs> cleaning all of the sides of this first, and then you will see me go in and start cleaning behind and underneath, and then you'll see me wearing the mask, which is after I figured out how bad the mold was, and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, enjoy this video. I'll play some music now. Um, but yeah. I hope that you guys subscribe and so you don't miss all of the updates on our kitchen. We've already started designing it and um, we're going to be able to block off, like we'll, we'll be able to completely board up the openings to the kitchen from like the dining area in our entryway. Like we're just going to put plywood going across and board it all up. And that way, when all the kitchen demo is going on, um, nothing will be, like, affected inside the house. So that's really nice. Um, and we've already started talking to our contractor friend. He thinks we'll be able to salvage the roof and still be able to take all of the kitchen walls down and start fresh. And we're going to be pouring concrete 
in the kitchen to make the floor level with the rest of the house. I am so excited about that part. Um, the fact that when they added on this kitchen and they just tiled straight onto our concrete slab, I think is the main problem that rain is coming in. They just tiled. So this was a carport at one point. Our kitchen was a carport on the side of their house and they just tiled straight on the concrete slab and then built a wall going up from that. So, um, yeah, it's just not sealed properly. It just wasn't done right. And so rain is coming in. And we also don't usually get as much rain as we've been getting. So last winter and this winter, we've gotten so much rain, it's insane. And we never did before. And so I'm wondering if that's why this was never a problem before, but now it is. Um, so anyway, all that to say, I am excited about getting a kitchen. I'm not excited about the circumstances which led us here, but I do feel like it was maybe God's hand kind of um, like, like bringing us to finding this because the only reason I found this was because our water heater was broken. Well, we thought our water heater was broken, but then we found out it was actually a problem with our propane and our propane gas lines were clogged. And so our propane wasn't getting to the water heater like it should, which is why we were having issues with our hot water. And so all of that led to a plumber coming and pulling the stove out um, because of, you know, he was checking all the gas lines and everything. So he pulled the stove out. I saw how gross it was. And then I decided to start cleaning it. And that's when I found all this mold. And so I just feel like it was like all meant to be like God was like, okay, they need to get rid of that kitchen because of the mold. And they're not going to notice it unless I do something about it. So he did what he had to do to get us to notice. So anyway, that's my thoughts on it, at least. Um, I think everything happens for a reason, and yeah. Um, so anyway, I am really excited, but like I said, I'm not excited. Oh, you see that spider? Ah! There's a spider crawling around on the wall. Anyway, um, enjoy this video, guys. I'm going to play some music now. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoy. When we wake birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun oh we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm Before I sleep Hear the crickets, see the moon Side by side and through and through No limit to what we can do Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh, Even in the hard times You and I can weather any storm 
right, so I am now going in with this like scrubby attachment on my steamer so that I can get all this gunk up. So this was all like, uh, like sticky, stubborn, like dusty, moldy, like I don't even know how to describe what was going on here. But it, I think it was like from the rain coming in and then drying up and then also it was probably so dusty back here to begin with. But then also like greasy just from being, you know, behind a stove. So yeah, I don't, it was it was gross. It was slimy and sludgy and stubborn and nasty. So this worked wonderful. The only thing I wish this steamer did was vacuum up the nasty stuff at the end. So after you're done steaming and scrubbing and all of that, you do have to come and wipe it all up. I lose my breath whenever I see you You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Okay, so this was the first time that I did not enjoy using my steamer. So far, I have loved it for everything else, but this was a pain in the butt. And because it was like a, like a cave type area, it just kept filling with steam and then I couldn't see what I was doing. So that was hard. So I had to like, I would like scrub where I thought I needed to scrub and then I would stop and let the steam dissipate and then I would see where else I needed to scrub and I would start steaming and scrubbing steaming and scrubbing and then I would let the cloud pass again and I just kept doing that over and over what helped was after I turned off the steamer I would blow in there and it would kind of make the steam like come back out 
but yeah, that was that was really hard, but it did work good. Like it worked good on the stains that I was scrubbing. It just was hard to see what I was doing. That's all. Um, but I still love this steamer, you guys. We would find the time Dreaming for eternity Creating perfect memories, yeah We hoped we were gonna make it Little did I know that time would take us to a place So the steamer did a really good job of cleaning the inside and the door and everything, but I was in the mood to really deep clean, and so I decided to take the oven door off. I haven't done that yet since I've had this oven, um, and so I wanted to go ahead and go in and do a lot more scrubbing and stuff. Um, like I said, it was hard to see what I was doing with that steamer, so this was you know, an easier option for me for the inside. But first I sprayed with the Dawn dish, dish soap spray. I let that sit for a little while and then I went ahead and sprayed vinegar over all of that. Um, and I got my scrub daddy and I just went to town scrubbing, sorry, hiccups, just got went to town scrubbing in here and this was super satisfying, let me tell you.
So as you can see, I was just being extra, extra thorough on this. I just wanted it to look brand new. Um, what the steamer did originally was good enough, like it looked clean and everything, but I just really wanted to keep going and make it look brand new. I don't know. I was in the mood. You know how you just get in the mood and you get in the zone and you just want to keep going and doing a lot of deep cleaning? That's just the mood I was in, I guess. Look how pretty she looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how it came out. Loving, loving, loving it. Now it is time for the stove top and the burners and all of that, like the front, all that good stuff. Um, I'm showing you just what a mess I've been leaving behind as I've been working. So for some reason I did not record me cleaning the grates and the 
black burners that go on top. I don't, I don't know why. I forgot, I guess. Um, but here she is, all clean from top to bottom, even the sides and underneath. And oh my gosh, I could not be happier. Um, so don't forget to stay tuned for my upcoming kitchen remodel videos that will be coming out. I can't wait to show you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.